<laughs> um, it, it, it's literally collaborating with the uh, various HODs across the board. Uh, they're the people who make any project work and uh, working with them to try and, you know, get through the day, or whatever the brief is, or whatever the project is. And it's, it's that intrinsic sense of collaboration with these people who, in, in their own right, costume designers, production designers, sit down, work out how the project's going to evolve. I suppose in the, in the very essence of it, it's what, what, what are the inspirational visuals uh, as, a, as a cinematographer you can reference and how those are all put together to, to formulate what, what, what is going to go down on the screen. Uh, it's an involvement right from the, the very top where the surprise is, you know, you're asked how, how you see things, how, how that process works out. So it, that's the surprise. And then it's getting down to the, the nitty gritty of how you then tackle, you know, day 57 of a 172. And I think it, you, you, you have challenges every day. So you're not, you know, going to wake up and on, on, on one morning and the art director hasn't done something correct. So it, it, you're a team, but you're a family and you're going to go from highs to lows. And it, it's, it's that process when you come out of a 174 day project like the Mafia that you, you suddenly realise, wow, I've been really invested in this, in these people. And I think that's the positive that comes out of any, any project of that scale or size. Yes, there are details. Yes, there are finesse moments where you have to understand the technicalities. But when you're with individuals and great directors, great art directors, you know, just have fun. Um, I think that's, that's, that's key to me. And that's what uh, a, a cameraman told me when I was clapping boards and polishing boxes. Uh, it was just, you know, it, it, it's have fun. I think there's a lot of a lot of you know talk with Sonia Klaus, the production designer, Joanna Eatwell, the you know costume. So those three things you know really merge into this one mass. You know how 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 do you get light into the, the darkness of of all of those costumes and the the grit and the dirt of London at that time? Uh, you know Joanna provides textures in her costume that can reflect and radiate light, and obviously you know. Sonia's sets were just sumptuous, you know, there wasn't an angle or uh, wherever you could point, there was some texture or colour. But uh, especially on, uh, on Taboo because it's, it's purely naturalistic, so yes, the lighting's augmented by uh, small sources, but we went to, you know, Goya was a big reference, Turner was a big reference, Caravaggio, single light source. So all of those things, I think, are wonderful when you're at that prep stage and, and bringing all of those, you know, techniques to screen. Is how do you how do you reference those initially, and then you know you go on to moving image and how how all of those dark masters create the atmosphere in, that you see in Taboo. It's again that collaboration with those individuals and then, you know, how the director wants to, to mark out or block a scene. So it really was amazing to get into, the, into, that, into that detail.